It is my great pleasure and privilege to, to be able to say that Jonathan Lynn is a friend of mine. And uh, Jonathan was over in uh, Galway, in, in Barna, in I believe Donnelly's pub, if I'm not mistaken, waiting for Henry Garrity. And he noticed an American standing at the bar on his own. The locals were kind of sliding away from him. And uh, Jonathan uh, went over and talked to him. Turned out he was over seeking his roots, which some people didn't think was that great an enterprise. It's different now. We're all looking for our roots. Anyway, uh, this is the life that Jonathan imagined for someone in that position. Close Encounters. <laughs> Eugenie McEnany is loud at the bar Claiming ancestry around the castle bar All through his life long he's followed that star Eugenie McEnany drives that big car long through the years he's been hurting Shrouded in his story's curtain He hoots for his roots now and loud at the bar Eugenie McEnany has come from the fire Eugenie McEnany is drawn to this land by an image that flickers from a la la land. But no close encounters with Ireland, no flying saucer, no cock in the hand. Long He's been hurting, shrouded in history's curtain. He hoots for his roots now and loud at the bar. Eugenie McEnany shows them his scar. Patrick McEnany is not in your graveyard For he fled the famine and left Castle Bar Great, great grandfather, proud ancestor Of Eugenie McEnany, who still bears the scars Long through the years he's been hurting, bandaged in his story's curtain. He hoots for his roots, but no home coming far. Eugenie McEnany is alone at the bar. Oh, long through the years. He's been hurting, bandaged by history's curtain. He hoots for his roots, but no home coming far. Eugenie McEnany is alone at the bar.